I love the city of Oxford. There was once a day that I would pray for you. I'd go and misbehave just so you'd notice too. Sneaking looks up The last government census revealed at least half a million transgender and non-binary identifying people in the UK. I like you, I can't wait. I first time. I'm Chrissy Shevasu and I'm the outreach and development worker with transgender, insects and non-binary people and I work for St Columbus United Reformed Church in Oxford. Oxford has approximately 1,000 transgender, intersex and non-binary students. The needs within the community are overwhelming. Transgender healthcare from the NHS has collapsed from underfunding and the only clinic for transgender young people has been closed down. Year on year from 2015, hostility towards transgender people from the government, media and celebrity culture has increased dramatically. Hate crime in England has increased 56% last year alone. Transgender people have been made an election issue, dividing the nation and fueling fear against us. I think even the church has much to answer for. In every transgender, intersex and non-binary person I meet, sit with and listen to, I see and hear and find truly beautiful people, sensitive, caring, kind and yet very vulnerable. The consequence of all this ignorance and hatred is that the attempted suicide rate within the transgender community is over 40%. In just six weeks last year, I had to deal with three young trans suicides. In this atmosphere of hostility nationally, my role and work is to bring God's love, peace and assurance to the transgender community. Well, I just want to be happy. How to get there? Hmm, glad that you asked me. I think it's different for everyone. Some of us need work, others need fun. Some of us need purpose to overcome. But try to do what you love when it's said and done. Because there's so many differences in each of us. Trust your gut, it can show you what you want. Living life every day, late at night. Not okay, all I want, and I pray. I experienced the URC as a deeply compassionate denomination, already leading in the assurance and love of transgender people. Let's build on this solid foundation and let's make the URC a sanctuary for all people, but especially for transgender, intersex and non-binary people. Cause all I want and I pray, I believe in a better day.